Wow, how is it that I come back from two hours and I don't have any extra Estes flasks? That's weird. I, I took a break for two hours to watch Dancing with the Stars. And there's... Yeah, I actually said that, believe it or not. I'm not going to spend too much time talking about that show, honestly. Because it's been on the decline for the past eight years, there's been fairly little reason to even give a shit. But this year I have to... Or this season I have to watch... You know, for, for two reasons. Oh, I totally blew that trap. I was trying to get the damn lizard, or the snake dude, to get hit by it. But there we go, I'll just stab you in the back. Reason number one is Danica McKellar. I swear by all the gods hold sacred, I will cry when she is eliminated. I am dead serious. I mean, yes, a grown man such as myself will, will cry tears of great sorrow when they knock her off the show. And sadly, it's going to happen, because, you know, it's just the way it is, but I, I've had, like, this crazy-ass stupid nerd crush on her since the Wonder Years, so it's like any chance that we can see that chick dancing around in a skimpy little outfit has has crashed down's complete attention, to say the least. So, yeah, And the second reason I'm watching is well, you know, Meryl Davis. Now, I don't have the fucking uh, crazy fantasies about her that I do with about Danica, but Meryl Davis is just amazing. I, 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 just, I just can't help but love her, you know? I mean, yeah, she's an Olympic gold medalist. Whatever. Need I say more? End of story. Now, look at this shit. They've got these flying-ass pendulums that are trying to knock me down into this pit. There's some ass bandit up on the upper right shooting lightning shit at me, and then there's this snake guy here trying to knock me off. They really want me either de in that pit or dead. They're not very considerate of my feelings, are they, today? I mean, come on. <laughs> I, just, I, I just got done watching a show that I usually don't care about for the most part, except for, like, some of the hot women on it. But look at this guy. Uh, okay, I'm just going to put an arrow into the pendulum. That's that's high-quality marksmanship right there. That's some of my better shooting. But this guy, I think what I'm going to do is just keep shooting arrows at him, because apparently he can't hit me either because of that pendulum. I know this is really, really uninteresting and boring. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I'll just keep hitting objects. So glad these arrows are cheap. <laughs> Wow, that actually might have hit me if I had not moved. Ooh, there's a good headshot. Let's keep trying for those headshots here, genius. And then, uh, now I'm missing. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, right into the pendulum. That's another good headshot. You know, you realize it's going to take me forever to kill this... It's like a... It's like a cobra with four arms. That's what it looks like, but he's dead. Goodbye. amusing thing about Sen's Fortress are these enemies. They're li they're like snake men. Literally, snake men. As in, like, snakes that have the bodies of men, more or less. Yeah, it's weird. They are reptilian in origin. Okay, let's uh, look at this now. I still want to know how to get down to that glowy down there. I have never figured that out. You know, for those just joining us, um, yeah, this is kind of a blind play, but I have run through this fortress before. This is my second character. My first one, I got all the way to Honor Londo, and I wasn't real happy with how he was coming along, so I'm just like, fuck it, I'll just start another character and run back through it. So that's where we're at. That's a nice little trap, isn't it? You know, it just shoots the arrows at you as you... As you go towards the chest? Yeah, well, we're gonna have to watch out for more of those in the future. This, this level is brilliantly designed, by the way. I do want to throw that out there. Look at this dumbass. There's a ball there, but I'm gonna stand out there. Yeah, but it, it, it's full of death traps. It, it is just, it's brilliant. Even though I kind of, sort of know where to go through here, I'm sure I'm gonna get ball prey to some of them, because I'm stupid. I have a very bad short-term memory. Long-term memory, good. Short-term, not so good. Let's see. Oh, look at the boulder. Yeah. There's another one of those four-armed cobras up there. He's not the one tossing the boulders, though. Someone or something else is doing that. So we're going to see if we can draw that cobra down here. Come on. Come on down. Or he's just going to throw lightning shit. 
That's fine too. I tell you what, I'm gonna light a cigarette. He doesn't want to move, so what I might have to do is run up to the uh, next door. Yeah, he doesn't even have ha he doesn't have half the range I do. But then again, my arrows are doing five damage. Do you know how many arrows it would take for me to kill him at a five five damage per hit? About three hundred. So, yeah, I, f I assume that's about right. This guy, I think I'm going to leave him there. Ah, the dumb cobra chased me, didn't he? Yes, he did, and he got murdered. He got rolled over by the boulder. <laughs> it worked. That's what I was trying to do, see if he would follow if I left. Because sometimes the enemies will do that. When you lock onto an enemy, they'll just like, Oh, we must kill him, we must kill him, and then they'll follow you into, stu into hazards. Such as this boulder, oh shit, I don't want to get crushed. Before we traverse the right light, I want to go up here. Roll. Okay, maybe I don't need to. Look at these. These are some weird statues here. Ring of Steel Protection. This one does something. Boost physical defense. Nice. By how much I want. Honestly, I don't want to put on another ring unless I absolutely fucking have to because I'm kind of happy with the two that I am wearing. And the both the ones that I am wearing boost my encumbrance and or my equip load. And all that shit. Trap ahead. Yeah, I can see the tile it's sticking up. Now let's see if I can blow this. Um... this, all this. Yep. We'll give him a rating for that, even though I could see the trap. It's just kind of nice that, nice of that person to tell us that, so we'll give him a rating for that. Do I need any of this shit equipped? Maybe Homeward Bones if I want to teleport home, or teleport to a bonfire. Come here, you dumb snake. Ha ha! <laughs> See that right there? That is genius. He's using the arrow trap to hit the stupid snake. Look at how stupid he is. Yeah. You gotta come through the door to hit me first, you big dumbass. Thanks for taking out the trap for me, too, by the way. Be wary of danger zone. Yeah, I think these rocks are coming down here, you know. Look at this shit. I'm gonna follow it. La la la! We're going down! We're going down! There's a cobra up there, that's why I rolled. I don't know if it made it miss or not, but. La 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 la! Oh, this. Is this worth showing? I mean, I'll die and have to restart, but I'm gonna show it anyway. Watch this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, of all the ways to get killed in this game, that is by far probably the funniest. I am dead serious. That is just fucking hilarious. Getting eaten by a treasure chest. <laughs> I mean, I knew it was a mimic chest because, yeah, like I said, I've run through this fortress before, but I absolutely had to show that. It was so worth it. I mean, yeah, sure, we lost about seven minutes of progress, but it was so worth it. I don't care. <laughs> it was just hilarious. <laughs> of course, now I'll probably die to some other stupid thing and lose my 9,000 or however many souls I had back there. Oh, thanks for hitting me, but at least the arrow trap took him out. I can take a hit. I don't really care. Ten flasks is more than enough to get to where I need to get to. La, la, la. Oh, are you bleeding, stupid snake? Yeah, down you go. That's right. Well, the snakes are generally stupid, but... 
Let's see here. Oh. Da -da. La la la. La la la. See, I like to stand in between these two pillars here because then the Cobra can't hit you with his lightning. And you can deal with this guy as you see fit. And he's dead. La la. Although there's another way to do this too. I mean, I could stand back by where I come in and shoot the Cobra off first and then probably deal with that guy. If I come back through here again, which I will, maybe I'll try it that way too. Not saying I'm going to die before I make progress and have to come back through here, but I will have to come back through here again, I'm sure. Look at this shit. I, I'm, I, I can't get around the wall. I'm just that bad today. I must be, like, losing focus or something. Ooh, good headshot. Okay, maybe not. We're doing all right here. Down you go, dipshit. I do like the soul count you get for these snake men. I mean, we're already up to 2,000, and I've killed, like, what? Four? Dodging the pendulums. That's so nice. That's so nice. And around the trap. Thank you. Again, we'll go out here. I mean, I'm not that far off from where I was before. I thought there was a snake man out here. I know that that cobra is still up there. But I thought there was one right out here, but apparently not. We'll just, we'll just have the cobra come down and chase me. Come on down, Bob. He'll actually come in here, and then I'll just kill him here. I don't think we've seen one up close yet. Oh, there he is. He's right there. Swinging at the doorway like he thinks he's cool, but... Yeah, he's got four arms, and he's got a couple of swords. Yeah, like three or four of them. Three, four, three swords. That attack hurt. And his attacks cause bleed. So we'll just kill him. Excuse me, Mr. Cobra. Thank you. Thank you for playing. Mm. Oh shit, I didn't get a chance to set the trap off. Now I'll have to fight him too. Oh well. Haha, you missed! You're so stupid. Yeah, you want to attack the statues? That's good. You like that bleeding there, Bob? Bob the snake. And you're dead. Thank you. Oh shit. Roll. Yeah, start rolling him. I spaced the trap out. I did. I knew it was there, I just spaced it out. We can chalk that one up to short-term memory loss. Oh shit, I think that rock's right behind me. Uh, yeah, it was. Okay, that was called bad timing. Yes. Very bad. Very bad. Made me look stupid, but that's okay. Well, we'll just attack this thing. Ha ha! Stupid chest! <laughs> Look at this thing. It's like, yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah, come here, you. I'll just kick it. <laughs> and down you go. They do have a lot of health. And we'll take our souls back, and all's good. And we get this lightning spear, which is a fairly decent weapon, I think. I don't know. I'll just jump on this elevator, which has blood on it. That's reassuring. Great. Whoever was on this last must have gotten squished or something. Okay, off we go. I don't think I want to know what's above there, so I didn't stick around. Struggling with stairs today. My apologies. Stairs are... They, they take a lot of effort. Now, where exactly am I? I am somewhere in this boulder trap area. Which way is the boulder going? I think it's going down that way. Okay, so we'll go up here. Here's this boulder device, which I can turn and make the boulder go a specific direction. Although sometimes it seems to just randomly turn again. I don't know, maybe one of the snake men changes it just to be an asshole. Now this, that's where I came in from, that direction. I want it going down there, I think. Now, 
let's see, the stairs, those lead to the uh, path to progress, but I don't want to progress yet. I want to go in that way. Go down there and crush that guy that was leaning against the wall like an idiot. Yep, did some damage. Saw a damage number on the screen. He's not dead yet, though, because I don't have a soul add. My souls did not increase. Okay, I didn't see a damage number there. I should have seen a damage number. Oh, there's a damage. There it is. It's appearing in on my inventory on the bottom left. And there's a soul increase. Okay, we're good. He's dead. Uh, I want to push it out here. One more push. There. Now I'm free to go down here. Pretty much do whatever the hell I want, because the boulder is not going to bother me. At least for a little while. Like I said, it eventually it starts... It turns again. And it's like maybe, I don't know, one of the snake men appeared down there and just, like... Turned it. Let's talk to this dude. Hmm. You seem quite easy. A rare thing in these times. I am Logan. I'm a bit cooped up, as you can see. I have a bright idea. Suppose you set me free. I'm old and empty-handed, but I could repay you with knowledge and sorcery. This place is melting my mind. The inactivity is repressive. Well, I'd love to let you out of there, Logan, but I don't have the key. I don't have the key to that cell either. And that looks like it's a quick way to the bonfire. <laughs> so we're not going to go that way. Yeah, a quick way to the bonfire back in the undead burg. Or actually, yeah, right. Now, does this look familiar? It should. I'm back pretty much where I started. But we'll go down here and carefully, carefully, we don't want to die. Again, quick way back to the bonfire. A nice snake corpse there. Hey, what's up, dude? Hmm. Mm. Oh, mm. forgive me. I am Ziegmeier of Katarina. Quite honestly, I've run flat up against a wall for a ball to be mm -hmm. precise. I'm afraid. I'm a bit too tough to be out running those things. So here I sit in quite a pickle, weighing my options, so to speak. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah, that dude's cool. His arm I will say his armor does look really goofy, but he's a cool dude overall. Alright. We'll see him again in On Orlando. Yeah. Anyway, let's go back up here, back up here. Why the hell do I have combustion selected? That's like, no, I should be using fireball. But what I want to do is probably get that item down there, so let's... Let's almost, not quite, completely commit suicide. Hey! Ow, that hurt a lot. No, not really. Well, I actually did. Interesting. What is this? It's like a weird curved sword of some sort. Sword with a sharply curved blade. Requires great skill to evade shield defense to sneak in damage. Oh, that's cool. Let's fix that. Oh no, I only have eight flasks left. What will I ever do? Perhaps I could try some rolling. Bah, no charm. My head would Hey man, rolling's not that bad. Mm. Unless your armor's too heavy. If your armor's too heavy, then you might be in trouble. Yeah. Gotta get some more endurance. Or just, you know... Alright, we're gonna go back up towards where the boulders were. See, now they're magically reset and coming down this way again. It, it's like a mysterious magical wonder. Like, oh, hey, wait a minute. I didn't have them coming down this way. Alright. Yeah, I had sent it out here, but for some reason it changed back over to there. I don't know. Maybe it's on a timer. 
and it only it stays a set direction for so long. I don't know. So yeah, that's where I just was. So where I want to go is up the stairs. This is a nasty trap. Look at the left wall. Ow, ow. Yeah, that would have really hurt. Back step or a roll backwards will avoid it, of course, but. Yeah. That's just not fun. This is not fun either. Four pendulums, and they're all right next to each other, so it's like, oh shit, how do we get through this? Well, if you're light like me, it's not a problem. La la la, la la la, time it and sprint. That's all there is to it. Hello there, co oh, it's not a cobra, that's just a standard snake man. You know, he's, he's kind of stupid too. Stop blocking, that's not nice. Now I have to wait for my stamina to regenerate. There is a cobra behind me too. Now this looks like, I don't know what's down that pit, but it looks like a fast way to the bonfire. So, oh look, there's a cobra. Let's shoot him in the face. Ha <laughs> ha you like that, Bob? <laughs> he's going to stand there and throw lightning a little bit, thinking he's all high and mighty. I think those other ones are rattlers, because I hear a rattle of a rattlesnake. Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, you're dead. Down goes the cobra. And we go over here. Well, hello there. Ha <laughs> ha! You like that shit? Uh oh. I have no stamina. Let's get away because the snake just tried to bite me. And he's dead. I just want this item back here, which is a large Titanite Shard times two. Definitely worth getting. Especially since the dumbass didn't hit me. Well, I mean, I did take damage because my shield doesn't block 100%, but still. 95 is pretty good. I imagine against enemies that hit for thousands, it's not so good. But this is a nasty trap. Look at this shit. Now, most people probably don't see this cobra right here. They just like, oh, let's run out there and try and dodge the blades. No, there's a cobra right here that's going to throw shit at you that I apparently is... Dodging arrows today. He's, yeah. I mean, the blood stain there in front of me looks pretty fresh. So some dude probably just ran out, didn't see him, and the snake knocked him off. Shit. Are you gonna fall yet? Please fall. Damn you! I wanted you to just fall, and you had to zap me, didn't ya? That wasn't nice, sir. He's dead. Okay, I'm happy. This is really a narrow path, so running on this is dangerous and as it is, but then you've got the cobra over there throwing lightning at you, and it's like, really, come on. Well, the goat move take him but two at a time. There's a floor tile to my right, floor tile right to my left. Both of them will activate this arrow trap. Watch, look at that! You can stand just to the right of it and not get hit. Isn't that nice? I just felt like cutting that. Yeah, the Cobra was standing right here. So there's a back way to assault him if necessary. Again, looks like another quick way to the old bonfire. But we'll go up here and... Through the fog door. Now, do we have... What do I have for... Do I have a fire protection ring? I don't think I do. Well, I've got a nice shield that blocks fire damage, so we'll just equip that. La la, oh shit! 
There's this giant ass golem over here that's gonna throw fire bombs that are like massive. Yeah, look at this asshole. Yeah, they take forever to disperse too, which is why I took damage. That was annoying as shit. Thanks, Bob. I'm trying to get to the bonfire. The bonfire is a bitch to get to. That that message there tells you where it is. I mean, otherwise it's hidden. Which this is this was not funny, I have to say. Guys, it was not funny hiding the only bonfire in Sen's Fortress. I just swung my sword at it. You, you go over here and you jump off the cliff. I mean... Who's going to figure that out? You know, like, oh hey, I'm just gonna run off this cliff here. You know, normally running off a cliff kills you, but I think I'll just run off this cliff here. I found it because somebody left me a message, you know, on my first run. Like, ju you know, jump. And I'm like, okay. I mean, what the hell? I'm run I was out of Estes flasks, you know, and I was like, just desperate. So I'm like, what the hell? What's this gonna hurt? And somebody else left one that said bonfire, and I was just like, okay. And then I was pretty damn happy when I dropped off that cliff for the first time and saw a bonfire right here. Okay, so here we are. We've made it to the fortress bonfire. Yay! All is happy. And yep. We have both our swords at plus ten now. That's even better. Could even upgrade my longbow. I think I'll do that. What do I have left? Fourteen thousand? I could probably level up off that. I don't want to carry souls in here. There's too many dumb, easy ways to die. Just trying to decide what to put it in. Probably endurance. Nah, let's go Vitality. Give me a little help, more health. Probably should have health. Especially considering how much I suck at the game, I guess I better have more health. <laughs> I think I'm going to kindle it, too. I just like to kindle every bonfire I come to. It's like, not like I'm, I'm not hurting on humanity, so... I mean, it doesn't really bother me to have to... You give up two for every bonfire I come to. There. That's better. 